Good morning, grade 9. Today we will talk about solving quadratic equation by factoring from your book, page 562-563. Use the zero product property to solve each equation. Here we have two factors equals zero. So we know that if any one of them equals zero, the product is going to be zero. So one of them equals zero. Maybe x minus 3, maybe x plus 7. We're going to write here x minus 3 equals 0 or this one equals 0. What minus 3 give me 0? 3 minus 3 give me 0. So x here is equal 3. And here x plus 7 equals 0. What plus 7 give me 0? So x equals negative 7. The solutions are 3 and negative 7. Let's see another one. Here we have two factors, factor x and factor x plus 4. One of them equals 0. We're going to use the zero product uh, property. So x equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. From here, what plus 4 give me 0? It's negative 4. Our solutions, 0 and negative 4. Uh, please uh, try it by yourself. And now let's talk about solving quadratic equation by factoring. Here we have some quadratic equations. We want to solve these equations by factoring. Uh, me the meaning of solving quadratic equation, we want to find the value of x. If you have quadratic equation and this quadratic equation equals to zero, we're going to use factoring. We're going to factorize the x squared to be x times x. And let's see 10. What are the factors of number 10? We know that 10, maybe 1 times 10, give me 10. 2 times 5, give me 10. And that's it. Choose which factors. We're going to choose the factors according to this sign. If this sign uh, plus if you add the two factors, give me the middle term. Which two factors? If you add them, give me the middle term, which is 7. 1 plus 10, it's 11. 2 plus 5, it's 7. So we're going to choose these two factors. So take the two factors, 2 times 5, give me 10, and their sum, give me 7. And now, the step, we want to find the sign of each bracket. According to this sign, if you have here sum, it means we have same sign. Sum, same. Same sign according to the middle term. If you have the middle term plus, we will have both plus. If it minus, both will be minus. And now we reach to this uh, step, like the previous one. One of them equals zero. So maybe x plus 2 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0. Here x equals, huh, what plus 2 equals 0? It's negative 2. And this one, x equals negative 5. So our solutions are negative 2 and negative 5. Let's try another one. Here we have another quadratic equation, but in this one, it's not in the standard form. First, write it in the standard form. We know that the standard form, x squared plus 2x, and subtract 8. Now we will have in the right side, 0. As we did before, factorize the quadratic equation factorize x squared to be x times x and now let's fact factorize 8 we know that 8 its factors 1 times 8 2 times 4 and that's it 
Let's see which factors we're gonna use according to this sign. This sign difference. So we will search which one. If you make minus, give me the middle term two. Try it. Eight minus one, give me seven. Four minus two, give me two. So we're gonna take these two factors. Two times four. So according to this sign, you, you're gonna add, uh, subtract or add like this one. Here we add them, here we subtract them to give me the middle term. And now let's see the sign. Here we have difference means different sign. Different sign, one of them positive and the other one negative. The big number, here we have the big number is four, take the sign of the middle term. So four will take the sign, positive sign, and the other one gonna be negative. But in the other one, we have here, same sum, same sign. If you have sum, same sign. If you have difference, different sum. And now, x minus 2 equals 0, or x plus 4 equals 0. The x here going to be 2, and the x here going to be negative 4. So our solutions are 2 and negative 4. Solutions. To negative 4. Try it by yourself. Thank you for your listening.